Oh, I came here for the proper shootout. Like a western. God damn it, these suits are hot. How do people even fucking wear these? Ah, <sighs> much better. Based on true events, Legend is the newest film starring Tom Hardy, this time in a dual role as both of the infamous Kray twins, Ronald and Reginald, who used to be the foremost perpetrators of organized crime in the East End of London back during the 1950s and the 1960s. As nightclub owners, they formed a gang with which they became dabbling in different crimes such as armed robbery, arson, protection rackets, assaults and eventually murder. During this time, Time, they even became celebrities, often hanging out with different politicians, actors and singers, and were even interviewed on television. Despite it being a gangster biopic that also happens to be rated R, mostly due to its violence, I was actually quite surprised at how laid back and mellow this movie is, and also at how funny it is. Not only is it one of Tom Hardy's best roles, I think it's also one of his funniest and the most entertaining ones, precisely because he has to play these two characters who have very different personalities, who are constantly bickering with each other, and I think that adds a lot of humor to the film. With the addition of the beautiful Frances, played by Emily Browning, the plot becomes much more focused and centered. And what I mean by that is that when it comes down to character arcs in this story, it is actually her who has to change the most, who has to make the most sacrifices, and it is for her you are mostly rooting to succeed. She is kind of like the main character, the one truly good person of this story. She gets romantically involved with Reginald, who she tries to convince to see the error of his ways before it is too late. Ronnie Cray is actually the antagonist. It is he who is the violent, batshit, crazy, slash psychopathic lunatic half of the dynamic duo. This is a man who in reality has been declared clinically insane, so it is never actually clear if it's intentional or unintentional of his part, but he is the one who truly stands in the way of everything anyone else around him wants and hopes to achieve. It is one of the most interesting relationships I have ever seen in a film, because the conflict between good and evil doesn't really work the way you would usually expect, either from a biopic, a gangster film, or just from a regular story in general. You have these two guys, these two brothers, they are loyal to each other to a fault, to where they would rather see their world crumble around them instead of severing ties with each other. They might as well be conjoined twins, because it is made perfectly clear that one cannot function without the other. This works both ways, Ronnie starts losing his mind more and more when Reggie is in prison, and Reggie can't kill the destructive Ronnie because of some strange sense of loyalty. These two people are basically one, and they are their own worst enemies. The negligence that will spawn from this will eventually start taking its toll on the people around them, especially Francis. It is the love story part that is actually the glue that holds this movie together. And surprisingly enough, it didn't feel cheesy to me. As entertaining as watching the two brothers might be, this movie really needed a character that was grounded and relatable. And it is her, she is that character, she is the one who is innocent, who is the outsider to this gangster world, and like I said, she is the one you are truly hoping for to succeed, to be able to make a change for the better. I found this to be a very entertaining movie, quite a funny one, of course it gradually does become more serious, more dark, more sad, and eventually more violent as well. But the violence never really feels like it is there just for the sake of having violence. Even though it is gruesome, you never really feel like there's much weight to it. When someone gets brutally beaten up or murdered by either of the twins, it's never really anything shocking, rather it's something that reveals a lot more about them as people. About the lengths they are willing to go to to demonstrate their power, and contrary-wise, about how much they are actually losing control, both mentally and physically, because of this. It's a funny and violent film, but it's also done with such class, such grace. Nothing in here ever feels exaggeratedly over the top. Like I said, the violence never becomes superficial or unnecessary, and the love story never becomes too sentimental or schmaltzy. It's a good balance. It's a good looking film, it's a good sounding film, it has a great soundtrack, it's a magnificently acted film. 
After this movie, I can honestly say that Tom Hardy is, as of now, probably my favorite actor of all time. He usually plays these very unstable, uh, vicious and brooding men who only play by their own rulebook. So for him being, playing both of the Kray twins, that was perfect, that, that fit him like a glove. So as you might have guessed, I like this movie, I would recommend this movie, probably gonna be on my top 10 at the end of the year. So that's it, that's what I had to say. Thanks for watching, as always, and I will see you soon. Mwah. Bye, y'all.